What's up YouTube and welcome to a very quick tutorial on how you can change any object such as a piece of clothing into any colour of your choice. It's a quick and easy tutorial and I've also added some practice reference images that you can use in the description down below if you want to practice with the same photo that I'm using. So with all that said let's get started. So as you can see I've now got my practice image here on my canvas. And so step one of this process is to create the shape of the object that you want to change the color of. So we're simply going to create a new layer by going up to our layers and creating a new one. You want to grab a color. I'm using white that you can see against the image in the background. And then go ahead and use the monoline brush, which is under calligraphy. Now my brush has is set to about 10%. And all we're going to do is simply draw around the object we want to change the color of. So in this example, I'm going to have to zoom in here and start to make my way around the object that we want to change the color of. And obviously in this case, it's the jumper. So we're just going to make our way all the way around the object, making sure we keep enough of the shape and making sure we stay within the boundary of that shape. I'm just going to make my way all the way down here. And then I'm just going to simply go around here and continue to cut out the rest of the object. So just making my way all the way around the complete outside edge of this now being that it's the brush tool afterwards if we need to we can quite easily go ahead and jump to the eraser and cut out little bits if we've gone a bit too far into the background or likewise you can of course use your brush again to go ahead and add in some extra bits that you may have missed right at the end now there's multiple ways that you can create a selection of an object you can use the selection tool you could go ahead and actually use the automatic setting within the selection tool and it may make a nice cutout of your particular image. However, in this example, it doesn't tend to do too well. And most of the time I can find it a bit hit and miss, to be honest with you. Now this part of the hoodie, we've gone round the cuff here. We just need to go around the hand here and make sure we get the inside of the hoodie just around the back of the neck here. So I'm just gonna go around the hand here like so, and then go up the side of the neck and round the jewelry here. You just wanna make sure you leave all the things you don't wanna to touch and change the color of outside of your loop. And then we're gonna go ahead and just simply continue to cut all of this out. This is really useful if you need to go ahead and change a particular item in a photo, for example, that may be slightly overpowering. It may be something nice and bright in the background and it takes away from your subject, potentially. It could be that you're about to make an Instagram post and you prefer that your clothing would actually be in a different color scheme or it could be really useful for such things as thumbnails on a YouTube video or other types of examples are available. So what we're gonna do is we just go right to the edge there and I've made my selection of the clothing. I'm then gonna go ahead and drag and drop the color in. And so now we move on to step two because we've now created the cookie cutter shape as I like to call them. And all we now need to do is use that as a selection to change the color of the actual photo we wanna adjust. So now all we need to do is if we go up to our layers, we can turn off our cookie cutter shape by using the little tick icon. Then we wanna tap on our cookie cutter and use the option of select. That will have selected the shape that we just made. Then go to your layers and change it to the layer you need to change the color of. So my photo, for example. We're then gonna go up to our hue saturation and brightness underneath our adjustments. And this is where the magic happens. You can use this hue slider down here at the bottom to adjust the color. And then you can use the saturation here to make it a little bit more believable. If you drop the saturation down a little bit, you end up with a really nice realistic look like that. And we've changed the hoodie from yellow to say blue. Tap on my adjustments when I'm done and also tap on my selection when I'm done. And that's it. A quick and easy tutorial on how you can use the hue slider to change any object to a different color. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. And if you're new here, I post Procreate content every single week. So hit that subscribe button. A massive shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. I'll throw their names up on the screen now. Patreon supporters get access to exclusive tutorials every single month. I'll throw up the latest three on the screen now, as well as sneak peeks, early access, and much, much more. So hit the link in the description down below if you want to come and join me over on Patreon. And if you're interested in any of the equipment I'm using, the Sketchboard Pro, that you can use code JOELCREATE to get yourself 10% off, a paper-like screen cover that I use, or the pen tips, grip, and glove. There's links to all my equipment in the description. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next one.